remember pirate notes and the comparison I made for the buying notes, the pirate notes, the results were really unexpected. But when I thought we have more notes or boats, how we call them, and then I thought, what about if I buy the cheapest one and then merge them? Will my results will be better or not so much? I don't know. So I did an experiment and this is what you're gonna see, the results of my calculations. Hello everyone, my name is Andrew and today we are digging a little bit more deeper into pirate notes projects and compounding strategies. Yes, if you remember, I released a video not so long ago, link in the description, clink clink clink, about the compounding pirate notes and results were really, really unexpected. When I thought of myself, okay, we have more nodes, like the cheap ones, one which costs like one, three or six dob coins, maybe it's worth to buy those cheap nodes, merge them, then buy more cheap nodes, merge them again, and then maybe I will get the gallon, the most expensive one, even faster than just waiting until I get those 40 dub coins and I can buy it. So I did some calculations to find this out. So just to remind you, there are four nodes or four boats, how we call them. Rowboat cost one dub coin, sloop cost three dub coins, Brigantine cost 6 dub coins and Chalion 40 dub coins and of course the best daily ROT. So this is the goal. This is the goal to get this node and as many of them as possible. Again, as before, I made an Excel table with calculations and many digits and so on. This might look a little bit scary because digits and so on, but fear not. I will explain everything as simple as possible and I think you should be able to understand everything quite clearly and quite easy. Now another thing that I should mention before I begin to show you the calculations is the price for the transaction. Because every time you do any transaction some AVEX avalanche coins will be reduced from your wallet with AVEX coins. The amount is really, really small. The fees are not that like Ethereum high fees and so on. No, 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 they're really, really small. This is a really, really small amount for that transaction. But still, I decided that I should incorporate that, even that small amount into these calculations. So according to my previous tran transactions, once I did with this project, while buying the nodes, while selling the nodes, while claiming rewards, yes, you have to pay for any procedure transaction you are doing, even for claiming the rewards. Once I compared everything, it was around 10 cents, 10 US cents. So it's really, really small amount. But once you start to deal with the nodes that costs one dub coin and at the moment galleon dub coin is around 1.6 dollars so those 10 cents it's like almost 10 percent of the amount you are dealing so this is much more significant than you could thought converting that amount to dub coins that would be around 15 dub coin cents so this is why in my, cal my calculations I used that, for example, to buy one node, one small cheap node which costs one dop coin, you actually need to buy to use 1.3 dop coins, like 15 cents for claiming your rewards and 15 cents for buying that new node. And by the way, our starting point is one gallon note, that one the most expensive. So imagine you already got, bought or claimed or I don't know how you got it, but imagine that you, let's say bought, you bought the gallon node, that one most expensive node, it starts to generate you the coins, the revenue, and now you start to buying 
knew all those small nodes. So this is our starting point. And by the way, this is not a financial advice and I'm not advising you to buy or sell or do anything else with your financials. I'm just your friend on YouTube and this is entertainment content. After the day one, we would get 0.64 as rewards, percents for the taxes on the first 10 days 30%, if claimed it would be 0.448 coins. So we could buy the first node for one DOP coin after 3 days, once we have at least 1.3 DOP coins. Yes, we are buying the node, we have a little bit left in our wallet, accumulated amounts in the reward pool resets to 0.64 after the fourth day, but now we have more. We have gallon and one robot ship in our pool. And we start to receive small, but well, a little bit of the rewards in here. So this is how basically everything works. I hope this part is quite clear. Now we are going to go a little bit fast forward. I will not explain everything so step by step. So if you have any questions about how the calculation is done in here or some inaccurate, you will find something that you, something I made like wrong, let me know in the comment section below. Second rowboat would be 7 days and the third one 10 days. On the 12th day we have one sloop and no rowboats, not anymore because they have been merged and it's, this is why we got this one of course. We had to pay less to get this ship. Now let's repeat the procedure again. Robot 1, Robot 2, Robot 3 and after 20 days we would get the second sloop ship. Great, our goal is to get the Bridgerton so you, you need to have two sloop ships to get one Brigantine ship and this is this would happen after 23 days. As we can see, yeah, the rewards are increasing, 0.697, once we get this ship it will be 0.71 ship. So it would take us 23 days to get one Brigantine. Fast forward, if we want to get a gallon, one more gallon, it would take us to get these six Brigantines and then we, we would need to merge them. But before doing that, Let's take a look what results you would have if you would do nothing, nothing at all, no ships, no buying, no compounding, doing nothing at all, just leaving the gallon, the rewards to compound and that's all. From the strategy, from my previous strategy, the winning strategy, let's see what the results will be. Yeah, so as we can see, it's 23 days and the first brigantine ship, which if you would want to buy it, would cost you 6 dub coins. And here I have a strategy, the previous from my previous video, and as we can see, first galleon ship node, 23 days has passed, we would have 13 dub coins. And you know what that means? That means that after 23 days, 20 3 days, if you would do nothing, and I mean nothing at all, just wait for the 23 days, you would have 13 DAP coins. That means that you could buy 2, I mean 2 Brigantine ships. And that is just like crazy. I mean, the difference is really, really huge. You are buying, you are checking almost every day, every couple of days, and it's not the passive income anymore, you're just buying, compounding and so on, taking your time, investing your time, and you have a double worst results than you would do nothing at all. That says a lot. Why this happens? Because first, taxes, you have to pay for each transaction to get, to buy, to merge, and of course, you have to use to pay with the highest taxations because first 10 days it's a 30%. Well, when I did this strategy, this was not the case, but here amount here is much bigger and the rewards are bigger, that's why I guess this is working much better. But anyways, as we can see, to buy those cheap nodes, it's really not worth your time, effort and money actually. So, 
I will not continue with the strategy because as we can see the results I don't think they will be better if we if we would continue because the results are really really the gap is too wide too big to continue okay great everything is clear about the strategy number one where you would buy anything that's possible so that means from the smallest ships once it's available to bought them okay now how about if we start buying not the cheapest ones but if we start buying second cheapest the one that costs three dub coins it's a sloop what about if you would buy two sloops we would get one brigantine and so on until we would get six brigantines and one jalen it will cost three dub coins and the return is 0.95 percent again the taxes that would be 3.3 dub coins so here i have a calculations for the sloop one sloop two and the brigantine 11 days has passed we would have 3.5 we need 3.3 2.0.28 .3. will be in the wallet and we would get sloop one 15 days has passed sloop number two 18 days has passed brigantine and as you remember from the previous strategy this one already looks better because from the one from the previous one it would take 22 days to get the brigantine and now it's just 18 days so it's already better and now we need six brigantine ships so fast forward after 71 days has passed we would get the sixth brigantine couple more days like nine days and we would get the second galleon ship so with this strategy it would take us 79 days to get the second galleon ships in our shipyard i guess yeah we can call it like this now let's compare with the winning strategy at least from my previous video because you might have a winner in here this is the strategy that was winning in my previous video like i mentioned before you will find the link in the description and in this strategy we will get the second galleon ship much much earlier we would get those 40 dub coins after 66 days has passed in this case it's 80 days so as we can see 14 days difference and that's two weeks two weeks is a long time especially in these kind of projects on my excel sheet it might look just like 14 lines you just scroll and that's all time to down boom bam boom boom shom and those days has passed but in real life it takes longer two weeks is a long time and if you could get the ship two weeks earlier i would recommend you to do that especially when you do not have to do anything again just wait for 66 days until you get enough coins and you could buy that ship not checking every day or a couple of days compounding selling merging and so on all the hassle away just wait and just buy so looks like this strategy is not working as well unfortunately it's not working so i will not continue with the calculations about the strategy because well obviously the results looks like they are not gonna be better as well i guess in here you take some rewards while you have a higher taxation as well and of course the taxes counts as well because it's like 3.3 coins for each ship to buy it's you know the difference when you buy the ship 14.3 it's like that 0.3 is like nothing but you buy like 3.3 that's a big difference 3 and 3.3 let's continue with another strategy you, uh, now you might say uh, what another strategy we are not working well yeah we are not but what about if we would buy we would start to buy the brigantines the ship or node that costs six coins and you will need six of them to get the Kalyan ship the most expensive node strategy number three we are buying just brigantine ships and that's all so we need six of them yeah the first one would be after 14 days so we would pay like 20 percent of the taxes after this time 24 days the second one 33 days the third one 42 days 
the fourth one, 49 days, the fifth one, and 60 days, the sixth brigantine. Now, we need around 8 dub coins, yeah, a little bit, or actually it's more like 9 or something like that with the taxes, to merge these ships to the galleon, and in this case, it would take us 65 days to get the second galleon. The results are more promising, 65 days is much better than before from the previous two strategies. Let's compare to the winning, at least until now, to the winning strategy. As you can see from the previous strategy, we would still need like, like more days to wait until we could get the ship. And this is our winning strategy, buying galleon ship when possible. And as we can see, the results are totally the same. We would get the second galleon ship on the same days as on that strategy. That means you could wait and do nothing and get the ship or the node on the same day as you would buy and wait and waste your time while buying, merging and so on. So this looks really, really promising. Let's not dethrone this strategy, the winning strategy, that, the one that you would not do to do anything and then claim the rewards and buy the ship, the second galleon ship. Let's leave it as a winner, but as you can see, you would get the ship on the same day. Of course, it's better not to do anything, just claim the reward, rewards once, buy the ship, and that's all. Why buying like six times, six ships when merging and so on? Of course, if you want to remember to play, like to not forget about the project and wait, less time until you can buy the ship and then buy another and six time like this and then merge them and so on. That's also fine, you can do that. But in my case, I am aiming for a passive income, so that's why I'm not doing anything and still staying on my strategy with not buying any ships and just waiting for those 66 days until I can buy the second gallon. So this strategy is still the winner. Now the question came to my mind. Okay, we got the second galleon, so now we have two galleon ships. How about now? Because first it was the higher taxes because uh, once you buy the first brigantine, the taxes were still higher and so on. Maybe now, when the taxes after 66 days, it's just 2.5% to claim the rewards. Maybe now the strategy, that strategy I was doing before, would work better. Let's take a look. Shall we? Yes, so this is our strategy, we just got the second galleon ship and again we have to buy six brigantine ships. So one, two, you can see the days here on the left side, three, four, six. Yeah, we would buy the sixth brigantine ship after 96 days, couple more days, six to be more precise to get the enough coins to buy, so it's yeah, like 9, four, 9 point something, the third galleon ship would appear here in this line, once these are gone, actually, well, yeah, we are gone, we are, we are merged into this second, third actually in this case, third galleon ship. So that would take 102 days to get the third galleon ship, 102 days for the three gallon ships. That's a lot or not that lot? Let's compare with the strategy. 102 days would be around three and a little bit more months. But let's compare this to our winning strategy, at least for now winning. We are not sure who's gonna be a winner now. Actually, you can be sure if you check the video in the link description below, but anyways, as you're still watching, you will see it in a moment. And with our winning strategy, we can see that 102 days, we would have a third gallon for already three days. Or to be like more easily understandable, you could 
you would be able to buy it three days earlier than with this strategy. So as we can see, our winning strategy still wins because you could buy the first the, the third gallon ship three days earlier while doing nothing. I mean, you just wait for those 33 days until 40 DOP coins is accumulated and then we just buy the gallon ship. Of course, at that time you would pay 10% of the taxes for that second ship, but that does not really matter because as we know, it's still more profitable when to wait until 2.5% taxes are reached. Link, 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 link in the description to check the previous video about that. So, as we can see, the winning strategy still wins. I will not continue with the strategy buying those smaller ships because, well, we can see that most likely the, the gap will be even bigger after more time. More work, less money, no, 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 no. Less work, more money, yes, please. So I'm gonna stay with the strategy, the one, the winning strategy. I was talking more about, and you can see more results in my previous video. I have left the link in the description and I have mentioned it a couple of times already. I hope that's not too much, because sometimes I tend to repeat myself, but I repeat the most important information in case you did not hear it for the first time, because that happens even for myself while watching other creators' videos. So I hope this was useful. Please hit that like button if you like this strategy comparison video. Let me know your questions, let me know your thoughts. Which strategy you are using? Are you buying like the smaller ships and then uh, merging them? Or you are doing like I did? Actually, Actually, I just got that gallon ship not so long ago and I was not sure which strategy to use, but now I know, and that's great. So thank you for watching and until next time, cheers. And like I mentioned before, this is not a financial advice to buy, to sell or do anything else with your money. Consult, consult with a financial advisor if you have any issues with your money. This, is, this content is just for entertainment. Yes. This is like symbol. So hit that like button if you like it.